Hey everybody, welcome back to Just Keep Scuba Diving, Scuba Diving on the Budget. I was looking at the wrong place while I got. My name is Chris. I am here to help you save money and enjoy the sport of scuba diving at the same time. It can be done. I, I, I know it's hard, and it, it, but it can be done. If you like what I'm doing, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bells because I've got some videos coming out that are pretty awesome, actually. I've been reviewing them and editing them and all for all the last couple of days, and it's pretty good. Um, today we're going to talk about, of course, Amy Slate's Amore Dive Resort. I'm just going to say Amore Dive Resort, okay? I'm sorry. It's a long sentence, and I'm from Oklahoma, and I get bitty bitty bitty. What can you do at Amore Dive Resort? Well, number one, you can go snorkeling. Easy. No big deal. You and your family go out there, you put on the vest, you put on some noodles. Away you go. Number two, you can go kayaking. I personally didn't do it. I'm not in physical stamina to do that right yet, but I'm getting there. Number three, you can enjoy that beautiful lagoon that they have and you can also snorkel if you got scuba gear and snorkel gear on your own you can also snorkel out in front of the breakwater it is a great place they saw an octopus they saw a tarpon they saw a nurse shark they, they they saw a bunch of things out there in that little breakwater at night be careful there's fishermen that come in at night after the place closes down and they lose lures and lines and hooks in there. I know I saw them do it twice. I just don't want you guys to reach down and hook yourself in the finger and now you've got another bill to pay. Number four. You can do nothing at all. I mean, pff, look at the view. I mean, gosh, look at the view. Number five. You can enjoy beautiful sunsets once Chris moves his boat. But you can enjoy beautiful sunsets. I mean, gosh, look at these. Hello. I'm already on vacation again by looking at these pictures. And, of course, there is diving. Uh, oh. Lots and lots and lots of diving. Lots of diving. Um, and, and, and the snorkelers do go out with the divers on most trips. Some trips they don't, such as the Vandenberg. That's a that's a trip that you go out in some deep water. Because most of the snorting, most of the water that we dive in are 25 to 30 feet, except for that one. And the snorkelers snorkel with us. I mean, the fish play in their shadows. It's okay. It, it's actually a good thing. And they don't get in the way. They let us jump in the water first. They put the snorkelers in. They pull the snorkelers out, and they pull the divers back in. They've got a system that works awesome. Travis and Captain G got it worked down to a T. They've been doing it in a while, guys. Maybe you trust them. Um, what else? You can go to Key West. It's Key West. I mean, you're gonna drive an hour down, hour and a half down, you're gonna drive an hour and a half back. So you can waste three hours on the road. Alrighty. So, and that's it. That is the activities that you can do at a more diver's work. So while I'm signing out, I won't sit there and leave you with this activity right here. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Er oh. Thank you. See you later, guys. Just keep scuba diving. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell because I've got some stuff coming up. And see you on the boat.